Hi, everybody. Welcome to Vanessa, My Life, My Journey. I am here today to do a seafood ball in my electric skillet. And uh, yeah, so if you guys tuned in to my other channel earlier, you watched me cook this Be Love Life sauce. So I'm mean, getting ready to cook my seafood ball. But before I do that, I want to take my uh, sauce out of this pan. So I am going to reheat this sauce uh, and get it ready for my seafood ball because the seafood ball is not going to actually take that long. And the sauce takes a little minute to warm up. The last time I made this seafood sauce, it's I had some left over to eat off of for a couple of days. So I am going to, from the beginning, I am going to put my excess in a jar. Hello there, keto deliciousness. Girl, you pop right on in. How you doing? So I'm going to take, because I want to rewarm this, but I don't want to rewarm all of it. So I am going to take some of this and refrigerate this for like tomorrow or... And if I put these in my mason jars, you could actually freeze your mason jars. But these jars right here, you can't put them in the freezer because they will actually break. How are you doing today, sweetie? And as you guys can see, This sauce looks delicious. So I'm going to fill up one more jar. And then I'm going to proceed to warm up the rest for my seafood ball today. But you don't want to keep warming up like the part you're not going to eat because it does have onions in it. So I'm going to take the wrist and refrigerate it. I'm going to read your comments in a minute. The computer is a little too far away from me. I just woke up from trying to sleep. I tried to go to sleep and somebody came, knocked on my door and woke me up. And I couldn't really go back to sleep. which I'm going to take this to my kitchen and and clean those off in a little bit. I thought I had a towel up here. So what I'm going to do is plug back up I'm going to plug back up my electric skillet and warm this sauce up. Get it going real good. And then I could start with the seafood ball. And in the meantime, I could be cleaning. Let me see what you're saying.
I can't believe you the only one in here, keto deliciousness. Where you at? Hello. Thumbs up the video, please. I'm trying to reach out comments. Give me a minute. It's say like 13 people watching. I don't see 13 people. Uh, keto deliciousness say hey boo I'm good it's looking good and thick glad it's Friday I know child this week went by so fast those aren't mason jars no these are I save them to store stuff in to keep them in the refrigerator so I could see through see my food Uh, hey there, Kathy. Hey there, lady love. Hey there, Terrence. I'm doing fine to you. Did I say I was going to discuss the topic here or on the other channel? I have another channel that I'm going to discuss on the other channel, and it's still in line with what I've been talking about. So I don't know. I don't know what channel I should do it on. What channel did I say I was going to do it on, y'all? I forgot. Did I say I was going to do it over here? Y'all, I'm getting old. I don't see y'all comments. Y'all give me three more thumbs up. Uh, Well, if I said I was going to do it over here, I can't remember, y'all. I thought I was going to do it on the other channel. Uh, I could do it over here, though. If I said I was going to do it over here, I guess I should kind of start with when I got caught a fire when I was four years old. I don't know, child. Y'all tell me. Anybody else remember what channel I said I was going to do it on? Because I think more people, if I do it over here, I'm still going to have to do it over there again, which I don't have a problem with story time. But anyway, so if you guys, you guys probably don't know. I am a burn victim survivor. I have third degree burns on parts of my body. And um, I was actually in a fire when I was three or four years old. I think I was four years old. And 
I actually set my own self a fire when I was four years old. And I think I probably should have died that day because I was consumed in fire. Uh, so let me go back and paint the whole story. Uh, my mom, I think she got pregnant with me when she was 15 years old. And my dad is probably like four or five years older than my mom. So they both were young. But my dad was an alcoholic. My mom was a teenage mom. And they fought and fussed. Like my daddy was very, very, very violent. Very violent. At this time, my dad and my mom were still together. And we were at his mother's house. And I am born on Christmas Day. So I think it was kind of close to the holidays. And it was cold outside. And I think there was snow on the ground. If you know anything about Texas, Texas doesn't really get cold, 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 cold. But back in the day, it probably did get cold every now and then. But it usually doesn't snow down here. And when it does snow, like to Houstonians, it could just be a little ice on the ground and we call it snow. It's not even enough to make a snowman, but we call it snow. So there was snow on the ground. It was cold. We was at my grandmother's house. And if you don't know anything about the old folks in the hood, back in the day, they didn't insulate houses. They didn't do none of that. That was just a, a house, plywood, and that's it. So my grandmother's house was very cold. And I can't stand the cold, y'all. I prefer hot, scorching, 180-degree weather over cold weather. So my dad and my mom is arguing. My grandmother have a two-bedroom house. And my mom don't want to be in the same room with my dad. So when they get ready to go to bed, she goes in the living room with my baby sister. At the time, it was only two children. And remember, I'm the oldest of six kids. So my grandmother, my, my grandmother go in the living room and she liked the heater for my mom in the living room because that room is big and drafty. So my mom is sleeping on the sofa with my baby sister. I try to go in there and sleep with my mom, but she like pushing me off and telling me to go get in the bed with my daddy. So my daddy, I guess he didn't say, you know, tell my mom to go sleep in the bed with us children and he sleep on the sofa. I don't know what they got into an argument with, but about, but my dad, Went to go sleep in the bedroom. I guess my mama, she wanted to. She could have went in the bedroom with him and all of us could have been in the same bed. But she didn't want to be in the same room with him. And she wouldn't let me come in the living room with her. So I tried to go in the bed with my daddy. But my daddy was so drunk. He just fell asleep. He just went to the room and fell asleep. It's freezing cold. There's no heater on in the room where he at. So I keep going in the living room and I ask my mom to come and light the heater. And she won't get up and come light the heater. She tell me to go tell my dad to light the heater. I keep trying to wake him up to light the heater. He's so drunk. He will not wake up. And... Since I guess you could say I was like a little, <laughs> a little woman at four years old, 
because even though it was still, I was still, uh, it was just me and my sister. I still did everything. I still was like responsible for everything. I was, I was like a little woman. So my dad won't like the heater. My mom won't like the heater. My grandmother is in her room with her door closed and she sleep. And I just say, I'm gonna like the heater myself. They don't wanna like the heater. I'm freezing cold. I'm going to like the heat of myself. So this stuff is strong. <coughs> so um, I take a piece of paper and roll it up like I see the ground folks do. I take a piece of paper, I roll it up, and I turn on the gas. And I might have turned the gas on first. And then try to light the paper. I don't remember y'all. I was like four years old. So eventually I try to light the heater and I guess I had the gas on too long. And when I threw the paper up in there, boom, I caught a fire. I had on this long, long, long nightgown and I caught a fire. I'm hollering and I'm screaming. My dad don't wake up. I'm in the room where my dad is on fire. I'm hollering and I'm screaming and my dad don't wake up. And I'm consumed in the fire, you guys. And the more I move and the air comes, I get, I get turned into a big ball of fire. And so I'm hollering and screaming in the room with my dad. He do not wake up. So I'm trying to make it to the living room where my mom was at. And from the bedroom, the bedroom right here, the kitchen right here and the living room over there. So I'm trying to make it from the bedroom through the kitchen and I'm so covered in fire and I'm just turning around, turning around, covered in fire, hollering and screaming. And my mama don't hear me hollering and screaming. My mama don't hear me hollering and screaming. My daddy don't hear me hollering and screaming. My grandmother is all the way in the back room with her door closed. And she hears me hollering and screaming. My grandmother get up and she come in the kitchen and she just see this big old ball of fire. She don't even know what it is. And my grandmother just start patting me out and trying to put the fire out with her hand. So as my grandmother is trying to put me out, she hollering and screaming, trying to wake up my mom and dad, and they will not wake up. I don't understand why my mama didn't wake up because I'm right in a room by her and there's no door. There's no door. So I don't understand why she didn't hear me before my grandmother heard me because my grandmother is all the way in the back room <coughs> with the door closed. So my grandmother is y'all after I put that after I put that uh, two in a jar I still got enough for this full bowl so I'm going to put this over here and let it be cool enough after my uh, and y'all I'm going to cook this in the same pan and I'm not going to clean this pan out because I want those seasonings to be inside there so uh My grandmother is trying to put the fire out with her hands. And she hollering and screaming and hollering and screaming. 
And finally, my mom hear her hollering and screaming. And my mom come over there. Y'all, I'm consumed and fired. You can't even look at the, it's, I'm a ball of fire. You can't even look at it and tell that it's a child on fire. So my mom come over there. She see my grandmother. And my mom come over there and she trying to pull. Ooh, oh, my goodness. Oh, my floor is going to stink. This is the water, y'all, from the... Hold on, I'm making a mess. I don't just waste the water all over the floor. Hold on, y'all. So my uh, mama see my grandmother trying to put out this fire, but she don't know what's on fire. So she trying to pull my grandmother away from the fire. And she telling my grandmother, leave it alone, leave it alone, leave it alone. And my grandmother's telling her, that's Vanessa. And so I'm gonna cut this right down the middle, y'all. So my mama was trying to pull my grandmother away from whatever was on fire. And my grandmother kept trying to go back to it. And my grandmother was telling my mama, that's Vanessa. She didn't know that was me on fire. So uh, I just take it out like that. I'm going to do it like that. I'm going to add some water in here in a minute. Uh, so then... My mama said, my grandmother was trying to put me out of fire with her hand. She was trying to pat me out with her hand. And my mama was like, let's pick her up and go put her in the bathtub. So they picked me up. Remember, I'm, I'm still burning. I'm still covered in fire. They pick me up and they take me and they throw me in the bathtub and turn the water on. Oh my goodness. Then they start patting my clothes to try to put the fire out. Worst thing you could ever do when somebody's on fire. Not supposed to do that at all. And so, but that's what they did. That's what they did. And through all of this, y'all, my daddy never wakes up. He's so drunk. They never, he never wake up. So they take me, they call an ambulance, and the ambulance come and take me to the hospital. I have third degree burns on my body. I have to stay in the hospital for like three months. All of my clothes that I had on are stuck to my body because my mama them when they was patting out the front, when they threw me in the water and patted out and was patting the water on me, they made all my clothes stick to my body in the fire. So when I go to the hospital, they can't even treat me for my burns because I have all my clothes stuck to my body. So every day they have to give me treatment and put me in a whirlpool. And every day I had to go in a whirlpool and the whirlpool would just spin me round and round. And they would try to pull some of my clothes off of me pull some of my clothes off of my skin a little bit at a time every day. And every day I would have for three months every day, you know, like when you have a burn victim, they take them to the hospital and then they treat the burns. They couldn't treat my burns because my clothes were stuck to my body. 
And so every day they had to put me in a whirlpool. And all I remember as a child was I had to stay in the hospital for three months. And as a child, three months, uh, for three months, I was four years old. I was at the hospital, y'all, every day by myself. Every day. Like my mom didn't stay up there with me. She didn't, she didn't stay by her daughter's side and stay at the hospital with me. My dad didn't stay at the hospital with me. They just left me up there at the hospital. Like the nurses and the doctors were so good to me. But I still was alone at the hospital by myself. Like, I know my mom and dad came to see me, but they did not stay at the hospital with me. And I don't know if y'all could imagine how traumatic that could probably be for a child that they don't even know what's going on with them. They don't even know why they are having to get thrown in a whirlpool every day and having the nurses try to pull the clothes off of their body every day. And nobody up there with them every day except for the nurses and the doctors. Y'all, let me go get some. I'm about to cry. Let me go get some water for this. I'll be right back. Hold on, y'all. This water is still leaking off of this. And I just want y'all to know, I do not tell my stories for sympathy. I'm not looking for sympathy. Uh, one reason why I tell my stories is because there are a lot of mothers out there and a lot of parents out there. that are neglecting their children. And they don't realize the damage that they do to their children. Number one, I think people should talk to young kids about teenage pregnancy because I don't care how grown a teenager think they are, they're not ready to be a mother and they're not ready to be a father. They're not ready to be a parent. Nobody's taught them anything. So you can't be ready. Even I became a teenage mother. And even though I was used to taking care of my mom's kids, I still wasn't prepared, even though I was probably prepared better than the average person the average teenage parent, but I still wasn't prepared. I'm gonna use some of this Zataran seafood ball. And I'm only gonna use one teaspoon because this stuff is very, very, very concentrated. 
last time when I used more, it was too salty. So I'm just gonna use one teaspoon. I'm just gonna let this boil. And then once it start coming to a boil, I'm gonna put my crabs up in there. But uh, I had to stay in the hospital for three months. And I was pretty much alone the whole time I was up there. I mean, I was left in the hospital by myself. And my parents would just come see me whenever, whenever that I guess they felt like coming up there. They would just come see me. But it wasn't like my mom stayed up there with me the whole time I was in the hospital. She did not stay with me the whole time I was in the hospital. I don't even remember my dad coming to see me at all. I don't, I don't, I don't remember. Uh, and then the amazing thing, the amazing thing about me being burnt at the age of four was I was totally, my grandmother, my grandmother ended up with burns on her hand from where she was trying to put the fire out. My grandmother's floor in her house was burnt and scorched up from me being on fire. That's how big the fire was. And her whole floor got burnt and she had to change her floor out. And even like 30 years later, when my grandmother got her house remodeled and she had that floor pulled up and I went to her house and I seen some burns in, in her floor. And I was like, what happened to your floor? And she was like, you did that. And it was the burn marks from where I was set afire that was her floor. I'm talking about the burn marks were, were wide and it was deep. And from what my grandmother tell me, cause she's the one that found me. She say when she came in the kitchen, it was just a big ball of fire. She didn't even recognized that it was a person, but she heard me hollering and screaming. And as she got closer, she realized it was me. And she just started patting out the fire. My grandmother had burn marks on her hand from putting the fire out on me. And my own mama don't have no burns on her from, from trying to save me. And that just, I don't know, is something wrong with that picture? <laughs> something, so y'all tell me, is something wrong with that picture? Like, your grandmother got burns on her hands that she went to her grave with, but your own mama don't even have any burns on her at all from trying to put the fire out. And uh, let me read y'all comments, y'all, because I don't know what I should say. Yep, I'm born on Christmas Day, Keto Licious. I thought you knew that already. You're supposed to know that already because your friend asked me what day I was born in. Mr. Anonymous asked me, what's my birthday in your life? Hey, that Bonita. Tony, say, Lord, have mercy. Uh, Ladybug, say, my Lord. No. Tasha or no, 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 something. Miss Cox say Jesus. Uh, Benita say also say on G. Yolanda say hi, tasty. Um, Keto, let's just say we good. Take your time. Hello, Diamond Diva.
Um, he delicious say tasty doing a story time. Hold on, y'all. Y'all, you know how when you were a child, you don't really know any better. You don't know. You don't really know that you're being mistreated by your parents because you don't know what good treatment is because all you received is bad treatment. And like when I became an adult, and I started dealing with a lot of issues that I had growing up that were still hurting me. And I started remembering stuff. I didn't know that the way I was being treated by my mom was wrong. I didn't know that my mother didn't love me. I didn't know that. I remember being, I remember loving my mother, but I didn't know that she wasn't loving me back. And when I got grown and started dealing with all of these issues on my own, and my mama wasn't concerned about them, just like when she wasn't concerned about them when I was growing up, that's when I finally realized that my mama do not love me. And even though she say she loved me. She don't love me because anything that she could do to make my pain go away, she haven't done it and she won't do it. And to me, when I rethink about the situation, when I got burnt, I don't know a mother that really loves her kids that wouldn't have had both of her children in the bed with her, that wouldn't have made the husband go sleep on the couch. And my daddy was so drunk, he could have slept on the floor. It wouldn't have mattered. I don't know what mother wouldn't have went slept in the bed with her two children. And I don't know what mother, her child keep telling her to come like the heater. And she keep telling the child to go tell the daddy to like the heater. And I keep going back and forth telling her he sleep, he sleep, and she won't get up and come like the heater. I don't know what mother would know that her child is cold and she's sleeping in another room with a heater. And she don't get up to go check on her child. To make sure her child, what mother wouldn't tuck her child in first? What mother wouldn't put her daughter in the bed first and put her under covers before she get in the bed in a winter cold night when it's snow outside? I just, I just don't get it. Ooh, I had, oh my goodness, I had seasoning on my hand. It's burning my eye. Let me read y'all comments. Hey there, Marion. Um, uh, Kathy saying, 
Y'all, I can't read y'all comments because I'm crying. I got tears coming down my face. I can't even see y'all comments. Like, I don't just have one situation of bad things that happen to me. I don't have two situations. I don't have three situations. I don't have four situations. I have so many stories of, of horrific things that I have survived. And then when I read the comments of some people and they're saying, oh, you're evil, oh, you're wicked. You're dragging Q and you don't have to drag her and blah, blah, this and blah, blah, that. And it's because of sorry, irresponsible people that do not care about what the things that they do to impact children. That I've had so many awful things that happened to me. And it's because of other grown-ups who witnessed those things happening and didn't speak out and didn't say anything. I'm not going to be that person that sees something happen that potentially could danger, endanger a child and not say nothing. I'm just not going to do it. I don't care how bad of a person you try to make me out to be. I'm going to let these... Ball first. I'm going to take my sausage and I'm going to reach out comments in a minute, y'all. I just couldn't read them right then and that because I got tears in my eyes, y'all. I can't believe these sausages was $10. I wouldn't have bought these sausages. <laughs> I should have got the other one that's, that was $4. Oh, I wouldn't have bought this, this these sausages for $10. Nope. Not I. But we got them. So let's eat them. I think I'm going to put four in here. And see, the way I'm doing this seafood ball, it's not going to take, it don't take long, like 10, 15, 20 minutes. And when I did it the first time in this skillet, it comes out looking just as good. as when you do it on the stove in a big old pot. And because it's just me, I don't need to use no big old pot. I'm gonna take the sausage. Now I'm going to go take this to the kitchen. I'm going to clean off this thing. I'm going to bring my uh, platter over here. Let me clean this off. And I'm going to put my uh, I got to take some of this water out of here. Because I need to stick my crabs up in there.
And y'all, even though that seasoning that I put in there didn't look like a lot, I actually smell it. Okay, yeah, I'll be back. Y'all, uh, because because I had third degree burns on my body, like growing up, and other things that had happened to me as a child too, not just the burns. I uh, I had scars on my body. And I never wore, I never wore shorts, never. I would never wear shorts. Never, 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 never. I would never wear, I would never even wear dresses. And if I did wear dresses, I always wore dresses that, uh, that, I wore stockings with, I always wore something to cover up my legs. I never, like as a child, like children go to the swimming pool and they wear a bathing suit. Because I have skin drafts on my body, because I have skin drafts on my leg, I never wore shorts because of where my burns are. I never wore a, a two-piece bathing suit as a child. I just never got to do anything that a ch that children did. I never even rode a bicycle, y'all, until I was 12 years old. And I never, as an adult, I never even knew how to ride a bike. Because when I rode the bike and when I was 12 years old and I fell off, I never got back on. <laughs> so it was so many things that I was deprived of as a child. So many hurts and pains that I just feel like a child shouldn't have to internalize those things by themselves. And... I really, 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 really am here today because of the grace of God, like for real, for real. It's no accident that I'm still here 
because even when you look at the severity of the fire that I was in and I was covered, one, see, first of all, that was a whole miracle. I was covered 100% by the fire, 100%. I don't have no burns on my face. I don't have no burns on my hands, my head, nowhere. Just where people can't see is where I have my burns. And I was covered. I was covered in fire. My grandmother didn't even know that it was me on fire when she came. When she came in her kitchen, she didn't even know that it was me that was on fire because all she seen was fire. And the spot in her floor, the spot in her floor where I left burns on her floor is so huge and big, it lets you know how big that fire was. It's not just one little spot. A whole floor, like a big, big, big area, is I'm talking about the burn, the 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 fire go down to the wood. But she had a wood floor, and the the fire goes down to the wood. It was it was so burnt. The wood is all burnt and charcoal. And I think that was one of the first things where the devil tried to take my life as a child because he knew what God had for me to do. And he tried to take me out as a child through the sins of my parents. And my parents are I don't know if y'all know some people, they never, no matter how old they get, they will never admit they're wrong. They will never admit their mistakes. They will never acknowledge anything. They will never ever say they sorry. Both of my parents were like that. My dad died this year. And he was the same, he was still the same way. He never told me that I'm I'm 51 years old and I never heard from my dad, I love you. And I've never felt from my mother love. She says she loved me, but I don't feel her love. So I don't believe her. I don't believe that you love me because your actions show that you love a person. And I personally don't feel like my mom ever loved me. I think that she didn't like me because I reminded her so much of my dad. Yeah, let me go get my platter. Yeah, I'm going to use the orange. Let me check on this because this is not going to take long. And the king crab is already cooked. I mean, uh, the snow crab is already cooked. 
you're pretty much just warming it up. I'm going to use oranges today instead of lemon because when me and Miss C. Connor did that mukbang, that seafood mukbang, man, that orange was the bomb.com. I will use oranges from here on out on my seafood ball. It was so good. And plus, I got these oranges from the food pantry, so I need to use them. Okay, let me go get my corn. And when I finish over here, we gonna... Now, I'm going to reach out comments. I think I'm almost through. I need to fry my tripod because you don't want to overcook this. I'm going to turn this off. Let me read y'all comments right quick. I'm going to start from the bottom. Diamond Diva say love is not about saying it. It's about feeling it. Is Tasty your mother? Is, is Tasty your mother? If she, if so, has a beautiful heart. I don't understand your question, Mary. Uh, sounds like you're talking about my mother. Uh, Miss Busty say, all right, Hazaf. Uh, Mary says, such a great person. I am praying for God to heal heart. As I'll say, rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Uh, Miss Busty say, amen. Diamond Dima, bless you as well. Uh, Diamond Dima say, God bless and keep everyone reading this. Mary say, may God continue to bless and keep you always. Tina say, God is using you tasty. Uh, Miss Busty says, amen, June. Marion says, Jesus blessed you through it. Thank God. June said, only God can heal this kind of pain. Miss Busty say, yes, tasty. God is good. 
God is, God is with you and has brought you a long way blessings. Uh, I can't pronounce that Cox person says Roman 8 and 28. Miss Buckley say true Kathy. Kathy say Diamond Diva eats and the wonderful things to preach, especially when people listen. If only more would listen. Yolanda say we love you, Tasty. Uh, Lady A say exactly. We were all meant to be here at this moment to hear your story. So what happened to you was not in vain. I can't read no more, y'all. I can't read no more. Too many tears in my eyes. Y'all gonna make me start my mukbang. Yeah, I'm gonna add some uh, I'm going to add some I'm going to add some some parsley on top of this.
Okay, y'all, I got... Everything. Ready to go. I'm gonna go to the other channel. Start the seafood boil. We got another topic to talk about tonight over there that I'm gonna start the seafood boil off with. And then once we leave that live, we're probably gonna come back over here because there is something else that happened with the Q and B Love Life situation that I wanna talk about over there. So we're gonna talk about that over there. And then when we come back, we could finish talking over here about whatever y'all wanna talk about. So I'm gonna end this live. Thank you guys for watching. Let me just see what y'all saying. Thank you, Lady Lexi, uh, Lady Lex, Lady Love, 4C, 4JC. Oh, I'm saying her name all the way wrong. Um, so I'm going to go and start the live on the other channel. Y'all thumbs up the video before you leave. It's 29 people in the house. Really? I need uh, five more thumbs up. So I'm going to start the live over there on the other channel and we going to be channel hopping all night long. But then when I finish the ball over there, then we're going to come back over here and stay over here all night until however long y'all feel like talking. So I will give me about three or four minutes and I'm going to start my live over there. Okay. Thank y'all for joining me. Bye.